Good morning, Quad Cities. Let's get you an update on your forecast because we are going to introduce some more rain chances for today. In the meantime, though, the morning has been fairly dry. Very good news for those marathon runners. And if you have any plans to go out on the course at all this morning to cheer on those runners, it looks like we'll see some pretty dry conditions and comfortable with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. But once we get closer to noon, going on, we are going to start to introduce some showers here closer to the metro quad cities and even going into the afternoon, keeping on that chance for a couple of thunderstorms. So let's take a look at this on future track. Again, that coverage is going to be very scattered going into later this morning as well as into the afternoon. Could see some downpours at times. We're not expecting any severe weather, but definitely could hear a couple rumbles of thunder out there with some of those storms tonight. Keeping the chance for a couple more showers on the board for us. Uh, lows are going to be around 60 degrees and then going into Monday. We're going to start out dry. Bit of cloud cover could get some peaks of sunshine into Monday afternoon, but by Monday evening going to start to bring back some more isolated showers. This system that's bringing in rain for today, rain for tomorrow, also rain for Tuesday. It is so slow moving that it's going to take some time to get out of the upper Midwest. Here is a look at Tuesday and early heads up. We have a one out of five threat for some severe storms already issued by the Storm Prediction Center for Tuesday for the southern half of our hometowns getting as far north as the Clinton region. But again, we're going to keep a close eye out on it. Take a look at future track as we get into Monday evening overnight. Could start to see a little bit more organization there, especially early Tuesday morning. But by Tuesday afternoon, that's really when we're going to start to see that system swirl in as it starts to make its exit out of the area could bring in a couple of uh, heavy downpours as well as a few thunderstorm chances with it. Again, we'll keep a close eye out on it, but in the meantime, enjoy the next few days that we do keep some rain chances on the board because drier skies are going to be seen by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon heading into next weekend, bringing back some warmth too with highs in the low 80s and plenty of sunshine. For more weather information, you can go to WQAD.com or download that WQAD News 8 app.